Good morning guys. So I just wanted to give a view before like anything else happens today of what the graveyard looks like during the daytime. And it's not done. I, I still have some other things besides what I mentioned last night that I want to do. Um, there's Deadmonton TV's tombstone. Pumpkin Ed, he was gored, now he's dead. And all the other ones that were done this year. I, I need to figure a way for for Vlad to stand up. I still haven't figured that out yet. And then facade from the backside during the day. And in case you guys are wondering, the way that I attached the panels is I just used these two pieces of 2x2. Two two. Got a screw in the top. In some places I have a screw down the bottom. And they're all, each panel is just sandwiched together that way. No hardware, nothing like that. The only hardware it's used is the plumber's tape to hold the hold it to the poles. And there you go, guys. There's the Hugh Hef stone. No longer rising to the occasion. I'm thinking about doing a Willie Nelson one next. Something like, here lies Willie Nelson, six feet under, now he makes the grass grow or something like that. All day long, it has not rained until I just get off of work and apparently the weather gods know that I'm like doing plastic and stuff tonight because it's raining. Grr. Back for round two, guys. It's the next day, obviously. Thanks for the response. I don't know if I'm really there at, you know, hunter status levelness. I don't know if I'm up to par yet. So, but today. Oh, a car. <laughs> I'm not the distracted one here. <laughs> but today we're going to keep going and hopefully the memento don't stop. And definitely tonight before I leave, because Keith drove tonight, we're going to have plastic up. Do you hear me? Yeah. I vlogged that, so that's in gold now, bro. Okay. Okay. Cool. No, more plastic all day, every day, because that is the glue that holds this together. Not really, it's plastic, but... It's actually duct tape. Actually, it's staples. And duct tape. And duct tape. And staples. And staples. And then another row of duct tape. And more duct tape. Yeah. Stop! Helmet time! Well, I was going to say plastic time, oh. but yeah, I, I guess it all works. All right, guys, so I got the other piece of plywood up on the door. And... Slightly uh, distress it, just a little bit of very light black spray paint, just to make it look aged a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's that. And yesterday I said that I was knee deep in panelage and buildage, and today we are knee deep in plastic edge. Not this, a word. Huh? Not a word. It's a word because I used edge at the end. Not a word. It's a word. Well, you're, you're stupid edge. <laughs> And Keith is catching up on yesterday's vlog to see uh, if I threw him under the bus or not. And, and to see talk, somebody, I, I can't remember right now, Crazy Man Living, can't remember. Who? Yard Hunter. No, Yard Hunter made the comment that I didn't finish what I was talking. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll fill that in real quick. So leave me alone so I can concentrate. So I can do this all in one, like, thought. So, yet, day before yesterday, I went to Lowe's. Talked to the manager on duty, and he told me to fill out a letter, because I told him about the haunted house, to fill out a letter um, stating, you know, that I do it for charity, and blah, 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 like I said yesterday. Here's the part that I didn't finish. He told me to bring it back yesterday, and he was going to be there, and he was going to see what he could do as far as trying to get me free stuff, or, you know, at least a, a discount or something. Went back yesterday. He wasn't there. But the other manager on duty didn't even read the letter. She just signed it off, 10% and her initials. You found it? Yeah, I found it. What'd you say? I was talking about the witch's cauldron because I was trying to adjust the chain. Yeah. And I was having a hard time getting the chain off. I was like, if I can get it up, that, that was it. That was. Well, see, and now you, just, now you just made reference to it again. So expect a comment 
I expect it, and I kind of did that intentionally to stop you from doing what you're doing. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, I was just about done. So anyway, um, she signed the letter, 10% off. So for the rest of the season, I get 10% off anything at Lowe's. Okay, guys, uh, first sheet of plastic. Like up here, you put your tack staples in just to hold it and get to all the plastic set. And taut. And taut. Yes, you need it taut. One row of duct tape down. Staple the crap out of it with a crap ton of staples. Then your last row of duct tape goes over the top to seal that and to hold it down a little bit better. No, your hand's in the way. I don't want to get your face. You're not going to get my face. Miss. Oh, direct hit. Was it? Yes. Good for you. One wall complete with haunted desk for the study and, and haunted door. Haunted door complete with faux paint job. <laughs> you guys are up. <laughs> it's a waterfall. Yay, water inside the haunt. But I knew it was gonna do that, it's just leaking because usually what I'll do is I'll throw another sheet of plastic on top of the roof that overlaps the outside one. But I don't have enough plastic for that this year and I didn't want to go and do that again so I'm just gonna duct tape after it dries. Hopefully we'll get a dry day and I'll just duct tape and seal it up. Oh, it's a Keith ghost, ah! Oh my God. Dude, don't do that. I know, bad acting again, right guys? Anyway, so, because we can't, we don't have GoGo -Go Gadget extend arms, <laughs> we can't do this in one whole sheet. So we've cut it into four smaller sheets, and this is the most difficult part right now. We have to put this piece and tack it up at the top, and then this piece, and then lean over this piece and tack it there, and we're laying them kind of like shingles, you know, overlap them so the water doesn't go in like it is all around here. So yeah, we're just about done with, with like the, the, the main plastic. Uh, Keith isn't going to be here tomorrow. That doesn't mean you guys don't have to stop watching. Because I'm funny just as I am. Sometimes. What you know, was that? Things are more exciting when Keith is here, but... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> what, what was that? We did epic plastic today. We did epic plastic today, now that Troy adjusted the camera to where it hits me. <laughs> it takes some getting used to, there's no screen to see yourself, so it's yeah, really you know, difficult. It'd be nice if there was just a little flip here. Yeah. You're like, hey. Oh, oh, oh it would be nice if there was a flip on the flip. There you go. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so, door, they come in, this pole right here is the first pole, so this is eight feet. Freddy fence, right here. They have to go. He swipes. Yeah. Does his little routine. He opens the door. They which, which, when he opens the door. Which will be like attached to like right here, going to center right here. But but what I'm wondering is when he opens the door, are you going to have him open it to where he's on the other side of the door? Or are you going to have him open it to where he's right there and they have to walk right to him? Oh, you know the answer there. Exactly. That's yeah. what I was hoping. But. The only problem is, is, is hiding the battery and stuff. I mean, I'll have to figure that out. We just built a little box right here, or right here or something. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember which way the Freddy door swings. Honestly, but anyway, okay. So they they go through Freddy and they make it past him. They come to this pole here, and if I do the study first, then those. Oh, you guys need to look at this stuff. I'll do those folding bifold doors. They go through here, walking through the office or the the study between these two poles. Walking through it to the left side, and then they come through here. You know, to save space, I might just do that falling spike wall. You know, like right here, they'd have to go through like some kind of curtain or cloth or something. And then boom, falling spike wall. I, yeah, I could offset it. To where it falls like this way at you? Yeah. 
so it falls, yeah, towards you this way, and then you walk around the corner here to like a corridor, and then you'd continue past that. That way I can put the, because you have to have a, an actor to operate the spike wall, mm -hmm. I can put the false room right back here and it'd just be a skinny room. It's Keith doesn't operate. <laughs> And then skinny hallway down here to here and, and have the video hallway. So the monitor would be like down there. But then I've got all this space right in here that is up in the air. We'll find something to do there. Just, well, we could just, I mean, because the end of your haunt, well, the end of this one is right here. Uh huh. Right? So, say, you know, falling spike wall, video hallway, you know. And then they come down here. Where's that pocket room at? Right there? Yeah, about so right where I'm standing. Right here, you can have them come through. I don't know, bro. That's, I mean, that's a lot of room, but then you don't have a lot of room at the same time. Yeah, because this the, the carport is only 11 feet wide. So it's really hard. The falling spike wall takes up like a lot of room. The video hallway is long. Or I would like it to be long. Oh, and that does, uh, that doesn't even include the uh, the mirror and the drop panel. <sighs> like I said, guys, I design as I go, and all I concretely know right now is the Freddy fence at the beginning. We'll so, yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyways, we'll all right, guys. Yep, Keith guys, is. I'm out of here. I got stuff to do tomorrow. Try to get financial aid and stuff, so I can go to school. So Yay. I can be smarted. Yay. Huh. Not, so, oh, hold on, as as the subscriber, so you can be a smarter you. I can be a smarter me. Ha <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. So, yeah, sh consider shout out. <laughs> Alright, guys, 27 days left. And, of course, tomorrow will be 26, and not to sound like Rebecca Black, but, uh, let's see, 26, 25, 24, 23. That will mean 23 days for me before the haunt opens on Saturday the 29th which I'm running Saturday the 29th and Monday the 31st. Subscriber shout outs. Baseball guy 45, Woman's Fitness and Airy 88 Fanpire. Thank you guys for subscribing. Now let's do some COC. All right, so the general consensus from my hellions, that's that's you guys is that Keith is becoming a haunter. That's awesome. Uh, including the comment from Pumpkin Princess 1031 Keith, only a haunter would describe a witch's cauldron as epic. Welcome to the club. Very nice. Uh, Ghoulish Cop. Keith has mad camera skills. He almost points it at what he's talking about. I know, huh? It, on the Flip HD, there's no screen on it, so it, it just... It, it takes some getting used to. I mean, even I'm not perfect with it. Sometimes I'm like over there or over there or, you know, wherever. And as for the ghost light, I guess you don't listen to the Haunt Cast podcast. <laughs> what? Seriously? I do. It's just that as you state here, um, how dare you? Yes. Castmaster, Castmas, cast member Revenant always ends his segment, segment, oh my gosh, I, ugh saying that he'll leave the ghost light burning. I never put two and two together. I mean, I heard it, I just thought it was a spooky reference. So I now I know the correlation. So, thank you. Yeah, saying I didn't listen to Haunt Cast. <laughs> what? Just kidding. Um, Joyce Gal, the facade is looking really good. Will the door be too heavy for the metal poles to support? Absolutely not, and the plywood also gives support to the metal poles too, as far as like pulling in or whatnot. And, oh, Keith, that black cat appearing while asking if you were a haunter was a sign. You are a haunter virgin. And if I had been thinking about it, I would have had Keith reply to a bunch of these. So my apologies for not thinking ahead. Last one, Crazy Man Living. Troy, how long will it take to go through the haunt? I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. I've never done the backyard up before. I'm thinking maybe between 10 to 20 minutes, maybe 15, somewhere in there. So anyway, guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow for more, uh, hopefully not wet building. Oh, that's just miserable. And I got a shower and change, too. So see you guys in the morning or tomorrow, whenever. That's some bad hat, Harry. <laughs>